So just right here at the track in uh, Spain, about an hour away from Barcelona, here for the Yamahas. The new range we got, 250, 450, we got an 85 and a 65 as well. There's gonna be some kids riding those. I'm gonna try out the 250 and the 450. It's a nice little track here, very super cross looking. Should be a cool few days, or cool day tomorrow. We're gonna presentation tonight and then riding tomorrow. So let's get to it. Thursday morning, about to go riding on the 2019 YZ 250 and 450. Water on the track now, it looks really nice. Ben Watson's here, Robert Ferrer's here. Let's do it, shall we? Let's get tested. Here we are then. In Spain, about an hour away from Barcelona. We're trying out the new. 2019 all morning and it's absolutely awesome track here. Barcelona, I forget the name of it. It's over there, see how long that is. That's the name of the track over there. And it's really long and I can't remember it. So right now we've got the kids, the 65 and 85 guys out on the track with the pros of Ben Watson, Roman Fevre, Kia Frontinese. They're on track with the kids having some fun. Ashton Belgian over there, he's got our GoPro on, so it'll show us what, what it's like to ride a uh, YZ85. As you can see, the track here is absolutely wicked. Really cool. Really nice facility. And we've had some fun, me and Bry. Like I say, just tested the 250 this morning. So we're going to check out the 450 later on. Once we finish doing some interviews and things like that, and we'll get back out on track and then let you guys know what it's all about. So, you can find the main test video on this channel. You can also pick up a copy of TMX, a copy of Dirt Bike Rider Magazine, where my, my review and Brian McKenzie's review will be of the new bikes, the Yamaha bikes. We're gonna hit the track soon and continue out some fun. Here I am with Pierre Fontenay, five-time WMX World Champion. We're here in uh, Spain testing the new bike. The, the 65 and the 85 for fun today and the 250. Just talk about what the new bikes were, were like and how, how much fun you had out there today. First of all, I'm really happy for Yama to bring on the 65 and 85 because I think it's good that kids can start already from the very beginning with the Yama bikes. And uh, I just think that the 65 looks really, really good. It's like, it likes uh, 250 but in small. Yeah. So the style is really good. And it's also, I think it's also pretty fast for a, like a 65. And the 85 is also fast, but it's really much more funny for me, obviously, because it's more my size. Yeah, I saw you out on that kids track, you was going for it. Yeah, it yeah. It, wasn't it was like, easy. yeah, it's just like about, I had a lot of fun. It's just about to uh, understand how to ride because uh, obviously you want to get the same style as a 250 but you don't really have to stand up on the 85 because it's way too small. So as soon as you understand how to go it's really good and nice to ride with it because it's it's fast and you have everything under control so it's, it, I had a lot of fun and I enjoyed a lot. Well I tried the 450 but I can't really say much as I tried it in the small small track and I'm also not a 450 rider so all I can say is about the 250 which is uh, which is good we didn't really set up the bike for me so I just took the bike the way it is and tried to ride and uh, I think uh, well the main thing is that the electric start is oh, yeah. something amazing and uh, really helpful but obviously the bike improved as well because the frame is it's different so the bike is much more stable yeah and, yeah, ruts and, stuff. and in the corners as well you can put the bike into the rut and it would stay in the rut for all the corner which normally we struggle more with this year bike 
to keep the bike into the line. So it improved and I think it's really good. So I hope I can ride with the new 250 for the last two rounds. So here I am, Ben Watson, last year's British champion. Ben, how, how you felt on that new 2019 250 out there today? Yeah, it's, I've really enjoyed it actually. Um, it's really nice to, to get on on something new and a, and a fresh feel basically. So yeah, I've really enjoyed it today. It's been, yeah, the track's been enjoyable and uh, I'm really comfortable with the bike already. It's straight out of the crate. Yeah, and you can tell that when you're scrubbing this thing here. Yeah, it's just, it's really enjoyable straight out of the crate and easy to ride. So I look so, forward to uh, getting some modifications and yeah, seeing how it feels. So I didn't ride, I haven't ridden the 18. How much different is the 19? Uh, yeah, completely. It's a full new bike. Um, the chassis is different away. and the, the engine is different. So for me, it feels like a complete new bike, but I'm really confident in the changes and yeah, I look forward to, to getting on it properly. Can you say when you'll be racing in GPs? Yeah, I, um, I have Czech Republic and um, Lomo left. And then it's not certain, but we plan to, uh, to race it in Switzerland. So we'll see. It's not nothing confirmed yet as uh, we need to, to wait testing. for confirmation and, and yeah, do testing so. So do you want to talk about your season so far? You've, um, you've given, really given us something to cheer about out there so uh, uh, from what's it been like from your point of view, from your experiences so far, how, how much you've been enjoying it and how much does it want to make you just crack on and <laughs> get better and better? Yeah like I've I feel in myself I've made a big step this year. Um, last year I was I was showing a few things and there was just something a little missing that was stopping me from taking that next step. So this year, Yamaha and, and the whole Khmer Yamaha team have really given me everything that I need to show my potential. And Jackie Bimon, my, my full-time trainer, is really working and we're working harder, but it's more enjoyable. So yeah, it's, it's, more enjoyable it's perfect. Sunday. Yeah, exactly. And uh, of course, when you're getting better results, you're smiling a lot more. Here we are, Roman Ferber, 2016 world champion. 15. 15? 2015, oh, yeah. I about can't remember what year it is anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting on. So uh, we're here in Spain testing the new 2019 Yamaha. Roman, you've been on the, two, the new 250 today. How do you feel on the bike? Yeah, 250, it's cool. Um, I, I love riding 250 first. Uh, even standard, I really feel like uh, really comfortable. I really enjoy the bike. It's really easy to ride, so... Uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been a good day. Yeah, we could ride uh, 2019, and uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's even cooler because it's the same frame as my factory bike, so uh, the same handling and uh, like with a bit less power, so it's really enjoyable to to ride. And obviously, we've got all the kids here today, and you've been out on track with them quite a lot. How cool is that for you to be riding out with those young guys? Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, now it's a special year. Yeah, Yamaha um, yeah, just uh, make the 65. So, uh, yeah, all the young kids come over, and uh, yeah, now we can really ride with them. Uh, like, have this kind of day with them. It's really, really fun. Uh, they they give it uh, all, always 100 uh, percent. So uh, it's it's really cool to to see this. Your season so far few ups and downs but how, how are you feeling as we come to the closing stages of the year? Yeah, uh, yeah I'm feeling comfortable. Um, I feel that I can play the, 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 the third place uh, at the championship so this is our goal uh, for this year. Uh, yeah for sure I would like to be uh, more uh, up on the front but uh, yeah it's quite difficult so uh, I miss some speed at this moment uh, but yeah everything is going yeah okay. Um, and like I say, if I finish third uh, at the end of the championship, it will be uh, it will be good uh, this year. Start again, shall we? Yeah. So here I am with Ashton Belgian. Ashton's been our 65 warrior today, testing out the new Yamaha YZ65. Ashton's uh, the 2017 Arena Cross UK 65 class champion, currently leading the British Championship in the 65 class. He also just went out to Holland for his first European adventure. And how did you do there? Um, I won both races and it was a good day. So you won the first, first race out in Europe, so safe to say he's got the experience on the 65, isn't it? Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what you're talking about. So how do you feel out there today with the first try on this new, brand new Yamaha 65? Uh, it was good. Uh, the, in the corner it was really smooth and good uh, bottom end power. Yeah, and you seem to be really cooling and well out there. Do you feel like it, it's very stable for you and you can throw it around easily? Yeah. 
So what about the size of it? Obviously, it's not quite as tall as the KGM, but did you feel like that held you back at all? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, when it's in, in like tight corners, it's a lot easier because it's smaller and just, yeah. And um, it's very customizable, isn't it? So you can get the bar rates and stuff to make it more suited for your style. And overall, how do you think it compared power-wise to the KTM? Um, yeah, it's. I think I think it's a, a bit better than the KTM. You didn't feel like you was missing anything out there. No, not really. And what what about suspension? Do you feel like that was okay out there? Obviously, your bike at home is a bit more set for you, but out of the box. Yeah, the suspension was really good out of the box, uh, brand new, and um, hopefully we can get a set uh, one set up and yeah. Just overall today, how much fun have you had here in Spain with Yamaha? Uh, loads of fun. It was cool to be riding with uh, Roman Febra yeah, and yeah. Ben Watson and um, Kira. Something to tell your friends at school. I know <laughs> yeah. the race this weekend, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, yeah, I had really good fun. The track was uh, good. So there's a junior track and then you went out on the big track and you crushed it with jumps in like three laps. <laughs> so that looked like your kind of track out there. Yeah. So good. overall, Ashton. Out of 10, what would you rate the YG65? Uh, a good 10. A good 10. So yeah, you've heard it first from this man here, R65 champion. He's he's given a thumbs up to the YG65, so yeah. What better review could you ask for? Cheers, Ashton. Oh, so we just finished up uh, riding for the day. Packing up, about to grab a shower and get um, freshened up, ready for the trip home. But other than that, it's been a great day. Absolutely fantastic. Track is awesome. Love the bike, really, really enjoy the bike. So, uh, big thanks to Yamaha for uh, having us out, throwing on a good, putting on a good show, and uh, giving us a really cool bike to ride. So, for now, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe all th this vlog and all all the other test videos on this channel. And if you want to see more, please subscribe and let me know what you do want to see, and I'll try and make it happen. What you see, want to see tested, what videos you want to see next. So, let me know all that stuff, and we'll I'll try and get on it. For now. Too fast, Max. Over and out.